Holy, okay, I'm, I gotta try and keep my composure, bro. I read this chapter like two minutes ago. Usually I wait like 30 minutes or something to like actually let my thoughts flow through the chapter and like actually think about what happened, what I just witnessed. It's pretty late where I am right now, but I'm not waiting, bro. I'm making this video. I don't care if it's like sloppy. Two chapters of Berserk just dropped. How do you think I feel? Okay, so going into this chapter, I uploaded my prediction video. Um, I uploaded it today because I expected the chapter to come out in two days, but the chapter came out on June 22nd. I, at around like 8 30 p.m eastern 8 p.m eastern i'm not quite sure but i was not expecting what happened in this chapter a lot of weird things that i was not expecting were in these two chapters and the first thing i want to touch up upon is the incredibly short length of these two chapters i was shocked because i literally scrolled down like a couple times and the chapter was over it really did feel like i was reading for a couple of seconds i don't even think i reached like a whole minute of reading by the time the chapter finished maybe that's because i didn't spend too much time on each panel but still this thing went by so fast maybe because it's just berserk oh my goodness man we got to talk about this chapter or these chapters because a lot happened in these very few panels now let's talk about something that's very important very crucial to berserk the art style the art has changed shirka looks a lot different Costco looks a lot different guts griffith Griffith looked like some fan art version of Griffith. It did not look like Kentaro Miura's Griffith necessarily. Now, I'm not going to complain because obviously Mori is not going to replicate what Miura did. That's not what I'm even like expecting from Mori. I'm just kind of shocked that it looks like this. And I definitely think it will take a lot of time to adjust to this new art style of Berserk. Certainly, it will take some time to read over these chapters a bunch of times. I also just think the fact that it's been so long since we've had a Berserk chapter plays into the fact that we're kind of like, wait, why does Berserk look like this? It doesn't look like it usually does, right? But to be honest, at first I was like, hold up, the art looks kind of weird. It doesn't really fit the characters, but I'm kind of, I'm digging it now. I think, I think for what Mori is able to do, I think, I don't think he necessarily comes close to Miura's artwork, which of course, like who, who else comes close to Miura's artwork? Because Miura portrays a story in a completely different way. And that's the special thing about the authors is that the author himself himself portrays this story in a very special way but that's besides the point because now that Mori is taken over the artwork shifts to more of his style of drawing and it's gonna again take some time to shift to that style but I think it will work out and the art style is still like really really clean if you look at it right I guess we gotta see these characters more in this sort of art style to really feel what's happening in these chapters but besides that that's all I really got to talk about with the art the art again it's very different but I'm digging it I think the art, the art works well. It's not Kentaro Miura, but it works well. Now let's actually get onto the contents of the freaking chapters, bro. Cause oh my goodness, so much. Oh my goodness, dude. First thing that happens, they don't jump right into the action here, which is very, very interesting. A wise choice from Mori because it kind of lets you settle down, settle down, and then it shoots you right into the action, right? So it shows the full moon, it shows Puck beside the full moon, it shows everybody on the island of Fantasia, and then it shows Casca running outside and Shirka's reaction to that and Costco going outside and the first big spread of the chapter is Griffith standing there butt naked looking like an absolute god or should I say goddess uh, okay god sorry this is the panel of Griffith I was referring to when I said the artwork on Griffith specifically looked vastly different from what we're used to but it still sort of fits that Mura type style. It still looks so clean. Oh my goodness, this panel of Griffith, man. Right under, we get to see the leaked panel, and the leaked panel is Casca's brand bleeding to death while she stares down Griffith, and she looks completely shocked. So I suppose my prediction was somewhat wrong. I wouldn't necessarily say it was completely wrong. More so, I'd say that she didn't remember him, but then since she saw Griffith, she started to remember him and she recalled that it was in fact Griffith that tore her memories. And there's like a little symbolic thing here where her uh, necklace sort of breaks off. I think that's some sort of symbolism to where she kind of realizes what Griffith did and how Griffith broke her in the way that the necklace breaks as well. There's some little symbolism there, I feel like. But Casca understands now that it was in fact Griffith who was responsible for taking away her memories. And that, that's huge moving forward. That is huge. Casca is not behind on anything she knows what Griffith did and she probably knows everything that happened to her in the eclipse as well as probably to some of the band of the hawk members anyways Casca understands I was wrong with my theory let's move on now there's this interesting thing about Shirka getting sucked in by Griffith 
And they explain this in a later chapter, so I'll touch on it later, but just remember this. And scrolling right down to the next panel is an absolutely incredible spread. Casca losing her mind, and then Guts with the Beast of Darkness slithering up his back, charging with rage at Griffith. So Guts doesn't wait. Guts doesn't talk with Griffith. He doesn't let himself collect the fact that his son is his greatest enemy. He charges straight at Griffith with rage. I mentioned in my prediction video that it would be kind of weird if Guts simply rushed at Griffith, but in this situation, I think it makes sense because if you look at the screaming here, it doesn't seem to necessarily be Guts screaming, more so, I feel like it's Casca losing her mind. It might also be Guts, I'm not quite sure. But I feel like the reason the Beast of Darkness so quickly ran up Guts's back and so quickly took over him was because of Casca's rage. And because Casca was going crazy, Guts went crazy as well because he was scared of what would happen to her. And so he charges immediately at Griffith. Now, I'm not saying that if Casca wasn't there, Guts wouldn't charge at him because clearly Guts is still trying to kill Griffith and it shows in the next chapter. But this chapter ends really, really quickly, as I said, with Guts chasing down Griffith and swinging his sword, and boom, the chapter ends. But I will say the depiction of Guts and his beast in this chapter was great. The scenes of him raging really reminded me of Mura, more so than the drawing of Griffith or Shirka, or even Casca really reminded me of, of uh, Mura's work. Guts really looks like Guts. I will say that. So for my overall thoughts on chapter 356, I mean, what can I say, bro? It's Berserk. It's a 10 out of 10 chapter. The artwork for some people is going to put them off, but to me, it fits. At first, I was like, wait, hold on, looks weird, but it fits now. I think it's okay. I think it, people shouldn't freak out that much about the artwork because it's only natural that it will be a drastic change from Yura. But still, that chapter, easy, easy 10 out of 10. One of like, one of the most crucial chapters in recent Berserk chapters in all of Fantasia, dude. Like that was such an important and such a good chapter. But now we move on to 366, the chapter immediately after 365. When, when was the last time we had two Berserk chapters in the same day? I think, I think that's too much. I think that's a little bit too much. 366 picks off exactly where they left off on 365 and it's Guts swinging his sword at Griffith and it looks like he cuts him, but Griffith vanishes in a way. I'm not quite sure if this is like an illusion of Griffith or if it's just some kind of ghost or if it's really Griffith and that's just his power. But Guts can't seem to hit Griffith and there's a scene of him going absolutely nuts and still not being able to do anything to Griffith despite the strength that Guts has. And there's this interesting thing with Shirka and Farnese getting sucked into Griffith and they say he's a maelstorm and basically he's like a force which just swallows everything so he's like a black hole type of thing where he just swallows everything around him. I don't know how that works, I don't know if this has been introduced into Berserk already but this is the first time I'm really hearing of what a maelstorm is. That name just sounds a bit familiar. I'm, I think it sounds familiar from chapters in the past, but I'm not quite sure. Not really sure what a maelstorm is, though they just did explain it in this chapter. It's definitely something new to me and possibly to some of you. Again, Farnese looks kind of different from Yura's depiction of her, but she still kind of looks like Farnese. I guess you could say Shirka looks more like Shirka in this chapter. And 366 is pretty much just Guts swinging at Griffith. And this entrance that's about to come up. You can hear by my tone of voice, right? Okay, do you remember in my prediction video what I said? Do you remember when I was like, there's probably like a 0% chance of Zod showing up? I was wrong, man. I was freaking wrong. Zod showed up in 366 and <laughs> just look at the spread and tell me this is not art. Tell me this is not as close as it gets to Kentaro Miura artwork. The chapter ends off with Zod showing up in front of guts and that's that 366 is finished so the biggest things are i already mentioned the biggest things it's the artwork and it's the depiction of the characters and it's really getting to feel these characters in this different art style because understanding and feeling these characters is vastly different when the art is different and for some people this chapter may feel like not a berserk chapter it might feel like a fan-made chapter so it's only expected that it would kind of feel weird i feel like when the next few chapters come out i feel like when this is given some time everything will feel natural as it's kind of starting to begin to feel natural to me because again at first i was like this doesn't feel like berserk 
in a way i was still losing my mind because i can't believe i'm reading berserk but it didn't really feel like kentaro Miura's berserk that problem will be solved and i can guarantee it almost as for the events that took place there's a controversial thing with guts and how his beast of darkness took over him in my opinion the fact that Casca was freaking out behind him is makes it logical and it makes it actually make sense as to how guts would charge after griffith and to be honest i was expecting him to be more in shock than he was in this chapter he completely just charged at griffith and did not care whatsoever that was quite the surprise to me how he just completely went after him but i did say in the prediction video if there was going to be a reason why guts charged after griffith it would be because of the beast of darkness and lo and behold the beast of darkness climbs up on guts's back and guts charges after griffith bro i'm telling you i'm crazy with these predictions bro besides the Casca theory i got the zod thing right pretty much i was like zod might show up guys don't doubt it i got the beast of darkness thing correct like hey bro give me some credit here you know I got, I got some pretty decent theories okay why was griffith disappearing at the beginning of 366 why couldn't guts hit him is this some sort of power that griffith has now that he's part of the god hand or is this some sort of fake it can't be a fake griffith though that does not make any sense so this just must be a power that griffith has that allows him to sort of disappear in a way or just not be able to be hit and it shows right here because guts can't do anything to him so if that's the case and there must be some sort of downside to this griffith power because if there isn't then guts literally cannot beat griffith no matter what he tries to do so yes there must be some limitations with this power that griffith has and what surprised me was in these two chapters griffith did not say a single word i did not get to see what he wanted to say i did not get to see why he came here and that is i'm not gonna lie a little bit disappointing i wanted to see griffith and why he was here but i feel like we're gonna get that eventually just not in these two chapters and that's kind of what like it's kind of annoying because i wanted to see what griffith thinks i wanted to see why he's really here the chapter ended off with griffith talking and these two chapters just happened to be guts trying to kill him and griffith not saying anything and zod simply showing up there was i guess you could say a lack of dialogue in these chapters which i guess to a certain extent is fine because there's a lot of action the lack of dialogue allows for the artwork to sort of take over but i did kind of want to see a bit more dialogue wise though i must say i really did enjoy the battle scenes and the new art oh my goodness oh, i still can't believe berserk is back it's still hitting me but i just read two new chapters of berserk and damn man does that feel so good berserk is back boys you can expect a whole bunch of new videos theorizing reviewing analyzing all this kind of stuff stay tuned i got a bunch coming out subscribe to the channel it's been a while since i've said that we are kind of a dead channel right now, so help your boy out, and we'll see more Berserk content on the channel. But goddamn, 365 and 366, 10 out of 10s, peak fiction, absolute brilliance from Koji Mori. Thank you so much. Bro, it's still hitting me, man, but Berserk is back, boys. Let me know what you thought about the chapter in the comments, and that's it for me. Peace.